There, he and his seven children enjoy a lifestyle similar to their home in Ireland. But he's been here much longer than planned and has a lot to say about the island character and the sometimes boring ordeal of making a movie. There were just three people who just went on like this. This has become a way of life. I may even burst into tears when they finally, you know, <laughs> you fire the gun. After all this. Yeah. And, you know, it has been physically very unpleasant and even quite dangerous. Some of the time the seas have been high, the boat sank three times, you know. My, uh, my death, you know, going into the shark's jaws, it's a very unpleasant thing, the goddamn thing weighs about, uh, I don't know how many tons, several tons, and the jaws absolutely come down on me with the hydraulic pressure, you know. When you do it 14 or 15 times in this kind of weather, in the cold, slide right into it, and then the teeth come and bite you, I don't know. Not very nice. For what we civilians hear about actors, uh, Mr. Shaw, it seems that it would go against their temperament uh, to have to sit around and, and wait all day for a 30 second shot. Sure. And That's how do you psych yourself up for this kind of a, a well, regimen every day? Scotch, vodka, <laughs> gin, whatever. Uh, no, we all have different methods. I, I uh, do tend to drink when totally bored. Um, Roy does exercises, Roy Scheider and sunbathes. Scheider does that, and Dreyfus talks. Just Dreyfus just talks interminably. That's you're, you're stoic, so you just sit around and wait to be taken. Well, you know, we go out there. There's just the three of us, uh, Scheider, Dreyfus, me, and the shark. And uh, we've heard everybody's life story about 15 times now, their sex lives, the, what their mother did, what their father did. I, I think I know every detail of those two men's lives. and. Uh, it has been, to some extent, very boring. How do you feel about Martha's Vineyard? What I feel about Martha's Vineyard uh, is uh, a great place for a holiday, not such a good uh, place to wear, but it's very like uh, my own private part of the world, which is the west coast of Ireland. Uh, the attitudes are the same. They think everybody who's uh, not lived here for the last 300 years is a foreigner. Except, of course, you've got rich people here. There's a lot of skeletons in the cupboard here, you know. There's more incest going on in Martha's Vineyard than probably any state in the, in the United really? States. Oh, yes. How, 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 not how, how, scandal how, and how gossip. How yeah. Yeah, how have you been able to I hear it from the local dentist in particular. <laughs> he tells me who's living with whom. And, uh, and, um, and it's always been what you'd call a sophisticated society for many years. Have you pulled any, any any benders, you yourself, while you're here? Or? No. The only time I'm ever drunk is ever is on television. I'm never drunk in private life or at work or we all know that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they say, listen, if you have to go on the Johnny Carson show, what choice is there to get drunk? Well, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> it's perfectly true. The funny thing about that that's is that... That's a network, Mr. Shaw. Is it? Well, well, no, but I mean, you know what you, what I mean. You have to sort of compete uh, with a comedian, and uh, you, you get rather nervous. It's not like this kind of interview, but the, what I remember well about this, and you never heard this story, I was on the Johnny Carson show, and I was in a picture about Churchill. And of course, the old man died of syphilis, right? So I said to Johnny Carson, uh, quite straight-faced, um, I haven't recovered from the disease. <laughs> He said, well, you know, he seizes an opportunity like that. He said, you mean they really gave it to you? I said, oh, yes, you couldn't play the part unless you actually got it. <laughs> then I said, uh, the director was Richard Attenborough and the producer was Carl Foreman. One of them held me and the other gave me the injection. And uh, I said, it's terribly painful and I, I don't think that um, they've paid me enough to do this. Now, that was believed. Now, I got to Chicago on the cup show, right? And he said, is it really true that you have this uh, terrible thing that we can't... I said, listen, not only that do I have it, I said, but they gave me the original germs <laughs> from this old French woman who was still living in Paris, who was Lord Randolph Churchill's mistress. I said, she's still alive. And I said, but penicillin doesn't work against these old French women. Well, I said it just like that. You'd think nobody would believe it. Well, everybody believed it. We got about 15,000 letters. I get to uh, New York. From old French women. From old French women. <laughs> I get to New York, and um, uh, the producer calls, Carl Foreman, very uh, outraged. He said, how could you say something and lose your dignity and say something like that? I said, well, you know, one has a sense of humor or not. He said, please don't mention it again. I said, right, I won't. Now I'm on due on the Dick Cavett show that night. The first thing, now Cavett had done that special, remember, on venereal disease and all that? 
And, and had first, he fallen for the thing? Had the he... first, no, the first question he asked me was, is it really true that you have it? And I mean, I was stuck there. You had to do Columbia were going to sue me, you know. Uh -huh. I they were going to sue me. Yeah, Mr. Gordon. They, um, Carl said Mr. that I, I, I was so him. undignified I would never win an Oscar. 